ass. The new cue that encounters one scary dude. Who wrote this, Tina? I've never met anyone. Did you just put a donut in your bra? Are your cats making out? Yes, they are. Oh, she leaned, way. Yeah. You're an oddly feminine man. What? Here's your costume, Rachel. Let's take a drag. There's nothing on the hanger. This is a living, breathing creature. So is Artie and I take care of him. Hold up, did you just? I may have perpetrated a buttload of credit card fraud. An old lady in Florida may have paid for my condo, and I might have just flat out stole my Lexus off a used car lot. That? Well, that's just a five-gallon bucket of expired grade D meat slurry. Why is your head photoshopped onto Living Man's body from February 2011? New Santana Lopez is right, old Santana Lopez. Sure, we'll just call ourselves the Areolas. <clears throat> Let, let's practice our, our twerking. Hi, hot stuff. Wanna look face and look at my boobs? No. What do you want? Do we some with Kitty? Um, no. Porno mags. We're gonna be here for a while. Gay porno mags. Gay foot fetish porno mags. It's not mine! That's puppy I'm porn. Telling you it's not mine! I go to church every Sunday, for God's sake. I'm sorry, would you mind just stepping outside for a moment while I bitch slap some sense into my friend? Looks like we're gonna have to dip into your West Village Halloween parade assless chap fund once again. They want chubby girls who can't keep men and men who kill people. If I don't express my venom at least once a day, I get constipated. Oh, Asian number one. Stupid Trouty Joe, the happy stripping hobo. I'd love to say something really bitchy or even downright cruel, but I can't. That's it, I've been meaning to ask you, are your boobs getting bigger? I promise you I will dedicate my life to making sure that every beverage you drink until the day you die will have just a tiny little bit of my pee in it. I'd rather do hard with you than easy with somebody else. Wanky. You know what, guys, we should do an all guys New York City absence club. No. No, no definitely way. not. That's not a good idea. I don't know if it's all this bird talk, but I'm getting a little turned off. Well, I don't have any feelings, Becky. Do any of you know I called you in here? Oh. Uh, is it to get prepared in case the North Koreans invade through Mexico? Oh, I hate to interrupt the blatantly homoerotic overtones of whatever the two of you are on the verge of crying about. What if we had, like, sparklers, but we're inside? That's crazy. I look like a gay thundercat. Maybe if I play a little Maroon 5, I'll get fiber lucky. Were the Beatles dyslexic and catfish by transsexuals? Are you an idiot, Kitty? That's not a rhetorical question. I literally want you to tell me if you're mentally slow. <laughs> Don't, Becky. Oh. Becky, don't. Oh. don't. Even though I'm straight and you're gay and I'm blonde and you're gay, may the false be with you. Sue's got a point there, hun. Oh, stop agreeing with me. You don't know what you're talking about. The only thing I can see you giving birth to is a bushel of russet potatoes. You know. She once taught me how to shoplift meat in my vagina. Elliot thinks this, and Elliot thinks that, and Elliot's hair is so full and thick that he doesn't have to rely on hair gel. Wow. I was like, oh yes, I will sleep with him. I was dating this really nice guy, but he turned out to be a little yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably homosexual. Gay. Hey, everybody. I'm Sam, and there's a bus outside. Old people usually freak me out, but in this case, you guys are pretty cool. Look, when I first moved here, I, I honestly felt like I was Crocodile Dundee. I've been trying to sound like Crocodile Dundee. I am known as the girl with the raging yeast infection. I am aware that the pheromones emitted from the orifices of your porous bird lady pelvis can cause an overwhelming urge to copulate in some emotionally stunted man children with butt chins who befriend teenagers and can't rap. Clever for a pinko communist. I'm never getting spray tanned again at a Vietnamese donut shop. Why did Her Royal Highness summon a commoner like me? It's shaped like a dong and smells like hot pee. I didn't actually cause a major chemical spill in National Park. <gasps> Look! That homeless guy is sleeping on my face! You know, in a few decades, when the new directions are all in unemployment and sexually pleasing some horny old casting assistant just so they can be extras on season 33 of The Bachelorette. Bug off! I don't do handy. What? My dream of being almost naked on a public bus is this close to coming true. The Beatles wrote exactly zero songs about what it feels like. When you tell a girl that you don't think is hot, you'll go to prom with her because you feel bad. And then you think you're gonna get nominated for Prom King and then you don't, and then the not hot girl says, I don't wanna go to prom with you anymore. I'm, I'm sorry, can we stop? 
The speech goes on for like six more pages. So do you guys want HPV or herpes simplex too? I think young Anakin has a diaper full of midi chlorians or two, said C-3PO as he bottle fed space formula to the infant Jedi who would bring balance to the force. Let's sneak a cow into school. Oh. Ah! I'm disturbed on every level. And Becky has been scarred for life. Do you think you could take your hand out from under my dress? I hope you're not trying to plump me up. It's really hard to be a straight white male these days. Honest to God, I cannot imagine what goes on in your lumpish, sexually ambiguous head. Yeah, guys, come on, get up. Come on, guys. It's my best friend. Gay marriage, good. It's good. It's good things. They're all happening so fast. Let's go. Sam. Not now. Break the edge! Aunt Amy! Uh, Becky, Aunt Becky, Amy! why don't you sit down? Are you dyslexic or illiterate? Or a charlatan? You need to back your ass up to the fact that you, a married 37-year-old, just performed a song about coercive sexual advances as nine minors twerked alongside you down the hallways of a public high school. All right, all right. I'm coming for you. And when I do, she didn't drink the vodka, I drank the vodka. Remember those Titans? All right, training day. You better come correct, because I'm coming for you. And when I do, it's your day to train. Training day is here. <laughs> My man, all right. The one thing this country needs more of is teen marriage. No child of mine will be bearing the name of shame. I've been wearing love, child, love, child, never quite as good. And if I catch you with your hand up the butt of anything that isn't human, you're in a world of trouble. I am giving you an all expense paid trip to Dildo Island. Well, one hour ago, I got a call from Detective Sue Sylvester with the LAPD saying that a 50 year old Ohio man with a perm had abducted 12 emotionally disturbed teenagers. And if he tried to make a reservation, I was to contact the FBI. Oh, thank God, there's no weird sex toys laying around. Of all times, she chooses to die. Less than a week away from opening night. Lately, I've only dreamt of one thing. And that's doing this. Mm. Let's, Let's keep sleeping, sleeping together, together and start an art gallery in the performance space downstairs. Your pansexual orgy of future patient zeros, the Glee Club. Oh. No, no. Let's face it. There are good kinds of yeast and bad kinds of yeast. But bad yeast goes scat with Yeastostat. Burns an itch or a thing of the past. And Yeastostat's seven easy step application makes feeling fresh a breeze. I like yeast in my bagel, but not in my muffin. Did you hear the news? Let's have a chat. Bad yeast goes scat with Yeastostat. And free. I know a gas-induced fantasy dance sequence when I experience one. I'm seriously regretting these tights. They smell like Williamstown. They're giving me serious mangina. Well, I didn't know there were Mexicans in Ohio. Okay. Guys, you might want to sit down for this. I have some huge news. You guys got married and adopted Russian twin babies. Yes! He is the most genuine, honest, kind, generous, sand dollar. How about you rolling STD? Um, how's your Reuben? It's okay, but there is a lot of pus on it. I'll have that. Would you recommend the wart burger with grilled scabies or the fettuccine and chlamydia sauce? You know, people love our wart burger, but um, I would go with the chlamydia fettuccine. It's my personal favorite thing from the menu. Sure, you might get hit by a bus or stop for pierogies and end up being human trafficked by the Russian mob. He spit in a cup and threw it on me. I had already first. Biatch, you get my zombie seconds. Oh, snap! Nah! Attention, McKinley idiots. Here are your morning announcements that I didn't do earlier because I was busy publicly breastfeeding my baby at Starbucks. Both orangutans have been charged with solicitation and impersonating a police officer. Prosecutors say both, Tickles and Bam Bam, will be tried as adults. Mr. Shu? Oh, yeah, actually. I need to use the, uh, the magic bathroom. Uh, I'll take mine black, thanks. <sighs> Who are all you people? Last year, Vanessa made a short film that consisted of a single shot of her eating a pile of dirt for 45 minutes. Well, now you can relive all of your Jeffrey Dahmer fantasies in the privacy of your own home. I married myself once, but I don't think it was legal. Thank you. What a treacly, stomach-turning waste of everybody's time. I hate you both.
A reminder from the City of Angels, the 405 freeway is closed for repairs this month. Also, the subway isn't working and bus service has been canceled due to snipers. Also, if you try to walk, people will look at you weird. Hi, guys. Also, watch out for terrorists. It's a little hooch. It'll help dull the excruciating pain of your wedding night sodomy and the inevitable divorce that you're creating towards a couple months later. Hello, losers. Well, you live in the worst neighborhood in Brooklyn. There isn't even a lock on your door. You might want to look into that. Unless, of course, you think the rapist is going to just move on to the next apartment filled with nubile 19-year-olds simply because your door is so damn annoying to open. So you're black. That's, that's, that must be interesting. That's my yeast system. What the hell? You wanted to see me, Principal Sylvester? Well, Donna, one of us farted, and I'm about 60% sure it wasn't me. I have absolute nonsense written on me permanently. When I first moved to New York, I gave this homeless person $10 when I just meant to give him one, and then when I asked for it back, everyone hissed and they booed at me, and I felt so violated and vulnerable. Oh, wait, so you were out $9? I just got a haircut also, if anybody is wondering. Someone in that apartment shaves their face and leaves their stubble in the sink, and we all know it ain't Kurt, so do the math. And the winner of the tacky plastic angel made in the Philippines by a 12-year-old child slave. But evidently, the people at Nickelodeon don't care about quality entertainment. That's right, imbecile homeless teen drifter. I tried breaking into the zoo to get us live tigers. Hey, Becky, I'm here to see Sue. Do you have an appointment? No. They get out, bitch! You'll have to go back to being a full-time spokesmodel for Billy D. Williams' yellow hair helmets for women who couldn't possibly be less blonde. Whore right there, slut! Hey, Becky. Does this bitch toe? I sip on horny, so you better give me some tongue. What? Whoa. I mean it, bitch. I want you to lick those Asian tonsils, and then once you call me all warm stuff, I can make you French meat because it's Christmas and I'm loose. Oh, dear God. Becky, you can't just make us French kiss you. It's like Ken Stripper. I have special needs, and one of my special needs is mouth sticks with your face. No. Did you just touch me with a puppet? Santa passed out in his own vomit and probably crapped his pants. I think it would be better for our relationship if we agree not to have sex for the next seven to ten days. Okay. What are you doing here? Oh, Asian number one, that's totally something you would say. <laughs> Little trouble chewing on something? Love me. I love you. Why can't you love me back? Hey, I would watch your tone with me if I were you, busted timber fake. I'm promise with the audience. Miss Diamonds, if you know the game. Come on now, rock your body tan. Yes, do the same thing all the time. I'm good, sexy, and fun. Come better, or you're just a waste of time. Take the number, step to the back of the line. I'm never late with you. Blade, what are you doing? Tina. Tina, get out! Get out! Get out of here! For the past 12 hours, I have ingested eight gallons of saline solution. I have more salt water in my colon than Richard Simmons after a poorly executed can and ball off the Fire Island Ferry. The demon looks like John Davidson. The very best they're likely to achieve is coaching a high school glee club and marrying a red-headed, googly-eyed homo afferanus with early onset dressing like an old lady disorder. Katy Perry? The governor of Texas? Am I okay? Is this what it feels like to be losing your mind? Hey, don't ever look directly at me again, Keebler. Ever. I don't like you and your equity card attitude. So I'm gonna hit the men's room and craft services, AKA my flask. Why don't you take care of keeping these kids busy? Huh? Maybe you could do that rent medley that you learned at the last open mic cabaret night. Huh? I just can't even. Excuse me. I need to go kill myself. I think that somebody needs to freeze the fat for Christmas. Toys I've returned to Neverland. You'll be forced to build creepy relationships with teenagers on your own time. No! No! William, stop that. No! William Michael Schuster. <laughs> Becky, no, no, no. Don't even think about it. Becky, no, no, no. Oh. Don't do it. What are you doing in my apartment? In my robe. Well, aren't you also very, very rude? <laughs>
Oh my god, Sue so hit sex in your bed. <gasps> oh my god! Kindly remove your fist from Puppet Hummel's butt. And... Hey. Hey, where'd you get that dinosaur suit? I found it in a dumpster in the Bronx, so I put it on. But then I was afraid it might have lice, so I took it off. But then I missed having it on, so I put it back on. Ah! Hey, how's it going? You know, I was sitting in my office organizing my collection of custom-made bobbleheads of my sworn enemies. And just to the right of Henry Kissinger and Drake, well, I saw your hair helmet just bobbling up and down. And I realized, well, I haven't marched in here and brought down the hammer in way too long. You're all suspended for a week. But what if I run into Dan Savage in the steam room at the gym? I mean, I'll be humiliated. Well, uh, turns out Santa, who's got a bit of a drinking problem, got into the schnapps last night, and he was a little hard to get out okay. of bed. In this argument, I don't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> I'm happy to help judge your potential virgins, and it looks like first up, warn me before you talk. Whoa, stop right there. You look a little Jewish, right? Rachel? Mm -hmm. okay. Bye. Hashtag D-B-E-Y-R. Hashtag D-I-L-L-I-G-A-S. Hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag. is my ex-girlfriend and she just dumped me, which is why I'm even here and why I have this job. And we're lesbians, you know? And like, I'd never okay. been with like More like Mel Gibson and Mad Max with your abs and your leather. Wait, what leather? The leather I was imagining you in when I was rubbing vapor cream all over your smooth, hairless chest. <laughs> Tina, <laughs> I'm engaged. Hey. What's going on? Uh, check yourself before you wreck yourself. I am one of Mother Monster's devoted disciples, and I command you to open your laptops immediately. video.